Hello Leo and welcome to your March 2020 reading. You're watching Window to the Soul and my name is Gemma with a G. Feel free to say hi to me in the comments section and thank you for over 3,000 subscribers. I really would like to express how grateful I am to all of you for your support and, and thank you all. This is a general reading for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. There is more information about this reading in the description, how it may or may not resonate for you, cross-watching and all that good stuff. Um, I do have the shuffling process in a separate window here so you can see that going on, but then we don't have to waste too much time. We can get straight into this. We did have a flipper throughout the shuffling process, which was the Page of Cups and the Oracle card here poised um she's she's reaching for the stars here there's a star up here on the bunting she's about to touch the stars here poised are you just about to do something leo just about to take action and is that action a message of love a message of forgiveness and understanding the page of cups is a, it speaks of having your eye on the prize and i'm very much seeing that energy coming through in this poised card whom or what do you have your eye on let's take a look at you in March and see if we can get more information okay so a tough card to start out with Leo the five of cups the five of cups is Mars in Scorpio this is potentially a card of apology it's a card of many things um wanting to be wanted disappointment resentment even regret unfulfilled expectations but the reason why i'm picking out the apology energy is because this is also potentially a card of, of apology i did speak of the forgiveness and understanding is there somebody whom you need to maybe approach is there a little bit of humble pie required here? Maybe on your behalf, maybe on somebody else's behalf. Let's get a clarifier for this. Yes, Three of Swords. Okay, so you're very much concerned with, this is the Three of Swords, Saturn in Libra. It's the heartbreak card. Um, suffering, grief, sorrow, pain, hurt, separation, blockages, delays, very much in the mind, heartbroken, heartbreak, that kind of thing. So we've got two cards here. This is your overall energy. This is what you're thinking about. Now, either somebody has caused you hurt or you have caused somebody hurt. And I'm wondering, Leo, because Poised and the Page of Cups, the Page of Cups, you know, flipped out, really did want to be known within this spread. And before I dealt any of the other cards out, I'm wondering if... I'm not feeling the five of cups and the three of swords can be potentially hugely painful cards but I'm not really feeling that I am an empathic reader as in I feel the energies that come across and I'm feeling almost a rather pragmatic approach this almost uh oh right I've, I've upset somebody I've hurt somebody um okay what do I need to do to make this right that kind of feeling again this could be coming from you or this could be energy directed towards you right now always take these how they resonate for you general readings of course i think i need some more information before i explore this fully so let's take the card that's crossing you here yeah this is the eight of swords jupiter in gemini this is the stranded card the restriction card the victim card it's it's Often people will say that, you know, that you've put yourself in this position, you know, it's it's being the victim, playing the victim. I think that's potentially downplaying the situation on occasion, perhaps. Who knows? It, again, your situation. But this is the after tarot. And we can see now the introduction of this gentleman here come in to cut what binds. So this is not no longer in this particular deck um, a card of restriction and being trapped. It's now a card of release, getting out of that mindset, very much suggesting that at some point 
you or somebody around you here, Leo, was in that very trapped and restricted mindset, but now releasing themselves from it. Let's take a clarifier. The Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. This is the um, collaboration, working together, teamwork, playing the long game energy. But we do have two, three cards now. So I will just, as an aside, mention the, the possibility of a third party situation here. If I see one, three card, I, I very rarely bring that up. But when I see two, if there's more, maybe perhaps... When I say third party situation, I don't necessarily mean romantically, as in illicit affairs or that kind of stuff. Could be, um, but it's always worth pointing out that a third party situation is generally anything, any person or situation that is preventing a connection from coming together. So this could be friends, family, geography, work, any number of scenarios um we always you know when we say third party situation we automatically and i do too we jump to the potential that you know there's there's infidelity or the, the at least somebody's considering infidelity would like to make it clear here leo not necessarily so but what i'm seeing here is somebody who has felt held back and restricted that they couldn't fully express themselves releasing themselves from that energy and now wanting to work together with a view to healing um, and making right a situation where somebody has been caused pain i'm i'm pulled towards believing leo the person that's watching this is the person that feels they need to apologize but again i'm not feeling this is super super serious I think this is there's degrees of hurt there's degrees of pain you know you can be upset about something or you can be full-blown devastated never be able to come back from a situation I'm not feeling it's that far gone I'm feeling this is not petty but something perhaps not quite as serious you know when we pull cards like the three of swords we again we may automatically go to the worst case scenario not feeling that I'm feeling this is I want to say light-hearted more light-hearted but again I, I I don't want to downplay what anybody's feeling in this situation just not feeling it's super heavy feeling very much that whatever's gone on here a simple apology and a candid conversation would certainly be enough to resolve this okay so let's see what caused this what's what's lying here at the root of this situation so this is a rejection. This is the Eight of Cups, um, Saturn in Pisces. It's potentially a bad choice. It's cutting your losses. It's a band abandonment, leaving, rejection. Clarifier, please. And then the Nine of Cups. So we're going straight from the Eight to the Nine here. Jupiter in Pisces. This is the healthy selfishness card. At least that's what I call it. And it can in, it, it can be seen in two ways you know it's very much a card of the self self-love wish fulfillment contentment satisfaction attracting look having an optimistic outlook however those qualities can be extremely positive especially for the self but it's also potentially a card of gluttony or greed having too much and not sharing feels to me very much here that what's caused this is somebody is putting themselves first again i'm not here to make any judgment calls but that has certainly left left somebody else feeling rather put out putting yourself first is often an excellent thing to do you know we band around the phrase you have to love yourself before you can love others blah 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 but somebody's certainly feeling like the nose has been put out here somebody feels pushed out rejected abandoned left in the cold perhaps it's not the five of pentacles but certainly again there's degrees of rejection you know we can go from full-blown ghosted of course is a rejection or just feeling that somebody's not really paying you enough attention 
somebody's more focused on what's going on with themselves making sure that they are taken care of and perhaps not fully sharing their energy or their time or their resources or even their love right now and this is what's caused this pain somebody feels rejected it's quite simple actually somebody feels rejected and that hurts again i'm not feeling this is a potential devastating situation that could kill this connection or this relationship forever i feel a simple apology here that understanding that being able to walk in somebody else's shoes and, and see where that person is coming from um if this if leo you are the person that has done the perceived rejection and i'm very careful with the fact that i've said perceived rejection there it may be that you've not fully realized that that's how you've made somebody feel because i don't think you feel this is all that much of a big deal but someone kind of does okay i hope i'm i'm getting that message across and i'm thinking this is like you realizing oh th this has actually hurt this person more than i realized um maybe i was being a little selfish um i don't feel that this is to be mean or cruel or the selfishness was intended in any way you know people get distracted people have lives people have things in their lives that don't necessarily involve romantic partners you know they have other hobbies other friends other things that they need to attend to and it could very much well be that you've just been extremely focused on yourself because that was necessary for now and someone's just feeling a bit put out here um and they would very much like you to address that okay let's see what lies in the past then the hierophant here's the commitment card the hierophant is taurus venus fixed earth it's um being able to identify with others it's coming together it's again as i said commitment it's learning Let, let's clarify this hierophant here the three of cups now we've got three three cards something is definitely pulling somebody again you fill these characters however it works for you but somebody recent past has been pulled away from a connection because of other things now this is friendship groups here here it would be teamwork and working together here is the heartbreak element but this is very much a coming together with a community kind of setting this could be going off to university, starting a college course. This could be collaborating with other people. It's Mercury and Cancer. It's friendship, connection. So this is, it, it's quite clear actually, Leo. Um, your person feels put out and ignored because they feel you're spending too much time with other people, focusing on other people. Again, not necessarily in a romantic scenario, uh, and, and I'm not actually seeing that, to be honest. What I'm seeing is you perhaps working with other people. I'm seeing you perhaps, um, perhaps you have clients, or perhaps you've started a new course of study and you've made some new friends there, or you're working um, at work with colleagues, any number of things. But I, f I feel that maybe there's a new friendship group or a particular person within a new group of people that you've been introduced to again somebody's just got their nose out of joint here somebody feels a little bit left out and um it is it is upsetting them it is upsetting them and i think you as i said maybe not fully aware but i think this central sect um section here is you that almost that realization that oh i i understand oh i see right i can see why this person's a bit put out and, and maybe a little bit of reassurance and a little bit of validation is required here okay let's see what uh, what's on your mind then leo the nine of wands the moon in sagittarius hmm this is being defensive this is like your last stand it's putting up boundaries and uh you know having to keep fighting do you feel that this is a reoccurring issue this is the resistance 
you know, perhaps there's a part of you that's thinking, well, why shouldn't I have friends or hobbies or interests outside of this relationship? You know, why should I have to devote 100% of my time to this one person? And again, feel free to flip these around, these characters, however it works for you. But this is certainly somebody being a little bit stubborn and, and thinking, well, this is a bit unfair. I need to be able to branch out and have interests and friends and hobbies outside of this connection. And, and well, let's clarify before I call any more. Yeah, Six of Cups. Okay, so there is a strong connection here. This is the sun in Scorpio. We've got a lot of Scorpio going on in here, actually. Um, this is nostalgia and looking back, soulmates, um, childhood sweethearts, that kind of energy. A very strong, deep soulmate emotional connection. So what's going on here is you're feeling a bit, a bit irritable, a bit exhausted with this energy coming at you, a little bit resentful. But you also know that your priority person actually is this person. It would be lovely. Yes, you do want to have these outside friends and influences and hobbies and interests and all of these things. And you believe that's right and that's fair. And, and so do I, honestly, Leo. I, I, you cannot possibly devote 100% of your time to one single person or one single connection. Nobody can be expected to do that. Um, and I don't think it's as dramatic as that. Again, I'm feeling someone's just feeling a little bit snubbed right now. But what's kind of keeping you from blowing up, really? What's keeping you trying to keep this person sweet, trying to have the best of both worlds, trying to find a compromise with this person? So, like I said, this is why I'm feeling that this apology is not a rush to, oh my goodness me, I'm so terrible, look at all these hor horrendous things I've done to you, because I don't think you feel that you've done that. It's really not that serious, especially for you. But there is this, there's a deep love and there's a deep connection here. This is someone you can see yourself growing old with, but you, so this is why you essentially want to kind of try and find a way that you can have the best of both worlds here. And I believe, Leo, that that's right and fair, honestly. Um, let's see if, if we can get there then with uh, what lies ahead. Here's another three. Goodness me, this is the three of cups again. This is the same card from a different deck. Threes are growth, collaboration, creativity, creation, friendships, expansion and development. Let's clarify before we go into star okay right so the star card um aquarius uranus fixed air this is about your dreams becoming a reality it feels to me that you know like i said if this is your work or this is um a course of study in some way or some kind of collaboration with somebody this is something that you you want this is something that you're um like a dream for you in some way. This is something that, like a sowing of the seeds and moving towards tangible goals in the future. This is something you feel you need to do. But this is very much a card of balance. Look at the cups. Look at the water being poured, poured one on the earth, one into the water. This is a card of finding your flow, finding that balance. So it feels to me moving forward that you are striving. I'm not seeing you fully doing it, but I'm seeing you certainly striving to find a balance between this group of people and this individual here that's feeling, you know, this is how they're feeling. Look at the body language. Look at the uh, sadness. You know, this person is so distraught because they feel their cups have been spilled that they're, they're not acknowledging that not only are there two cups behind them, but you know, there's also a bridge over here to this home. There's 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 options here in the Five of Cups that are not being acknowledged or noticed. This is somebody feeling rather sorry for themselves, to be honest. Again, I'm not here to decide whether that is fair, warranted, or appropriate or not. Your situation. But moving forward, very much attempting to find some kind of balance here between all of the people in your lives. You know, Leos are quite gregarious and um, 
outgoing and social and confident and uh, extrovert, depending on what your other signs are, of course. But as a general rule, you know, they, they like to be the life and soul of the party. They like to have friendship groups. They like to go out. They like to have good times. Um, perhaps you're with somebody here, Leo, that just isn't quite on the same page as that. The, um, the Five of Cups is um, a Scorpio card. Perhaps you're dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpios are, are not particularly um, open. You know, they, they keep a lot inside them. And they keep a lot of, um, they, they, they push things down. They're very, very deep. And um, excavating a Scorpio takes time. You know, we've also got this excavating, you know, with this spade kind of imagery here. Isn't it strange that I use that word? Let's see what your suggested approach is then. The High Priestess, the Moon in Cancer. Trust in your intuition. But this is very much a card that says keep keep something back for yourself here. Now you are poised here to bring in an apology, which is exactly what we saw here. You're ready to try and find this balance, but the, the suggested advice is, is to keep something back for yourself. Let's clarify the High Priestess here. And we're clarifying the High Priestess with the High Priestess. Wow. This is, a, this is about tuning into your intuition, not needing to speak everything. What I'm kind of seeing here, Leo, is, um, and I know this sounds awful, please don't shoot the messenger, but I'm seeing this person here who's feeling rather sorry for themselves actually being rather unfair. Not, you know, I spoke here about you stepping into somebody else's shoes and trying to see something from their point of view. And I'm seeing you trying to find a balance, recognizing this connection, the strength of this connection, recognizing this is somebody you deeply care about, something you are willing to fight for, trying to find balance. And I'm not seeing this person really, like I said, this isn't you definitely finding balance. This is you trying to find balance, which for me suggests we're not quite there yet. I think somebody's being rather stubborn. And while you're putting yourself in their shoes, trying to understand and be compassionate, I don't think they're fully doing the same in return. And the suggested approach is to hold back for a while. I'm not fully sure how that would help, honestly. But that's my opinion. And who am I to question the cards? This is a general reading. Leo, this is your situation. You will know if this is or is not appropriate action for you to take. You know, use your discernment. The card's very much saying, use your discernment. Trust your gut instinct. Listen to that quiet voice inside. You already have the answers. It's, it's, um, I'm getting like a pay attention to the red flags kind of thing here. Let's see what um, you need to know. The Page of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me. The Page of Cups is, um, is here. This is the card that flipped out for you. And this is what you need to know. So while you're poised to apologize, what you need to know about the apology is the two of swords venus in um mars in aries sorry no no where am i moon in libra moon in libra it's a swords card hmm this is somebody not really accepting an apology this is somebody being closed off or blocked this is somebody refusing to see that there are two sides to every story and that's exactly what I spoke about when I said this person is not putting themselves in your shoes when you are attempting to do that for them. This person's... Whatever's going on right now, um, it feels a little disproportionate. It feels that their response to you is a little over the top. Now, it could very much be, Leo that this perceived rejection, you know, you paying attention to all these other people here, these groups, this 
community, however that works for you. For you, it just does not feel like that much of a big deal. But, you know, everybody has um, their shadows. Everybody has their wounds and their triggers. And it could be that this has triggered, there's the childhood thing here. Maybe this is what you're wondering. It could be that this perceived rejection has, has triggered some repressed wounds within your person. And therefore their response is perhaps a little bit, has a bit more gravity and weight to it than, than you would ordinarily expect. And I'm feeling a lot of generosity, kindness, understanding and compassion coming from you. You trying to understand, but also trying to find that balance between having what it is you believe is perfectly acceptable and not, but also not diminishing how this person feels. But I feel that what you need to know here is that your apology may fall on deaf ears. Um, for now, that your apology may not be fully welcomed, that, or it may be that your apology will be received as a sign of validation that you, you were wrong and they were right. I hope that you understand what I mean by that. So, so be careful with how you word said apology. And again, the advice here is, is to, to step back and to actually not really come forward and say all that much. Please do let me know how this is resonating for you, Leo, because this is where I'm starting to not fully understand your read. And I, and I believe that you do, if this is resonating for you, let's see what your hopes and fears are. Slow moving. Um, this is the Knight of Pentacles. You know, the Knight of Pentacles certainly understands the value of what it is that he's moving towards, very much so. Um, he has a plan and he takes the time to care for what it is. He's grounded, he's secure, he's reliable. But from the outside, other people see this slowness to respond, this slowness to act or move, this overly cautious, methodical approach, and, and it can be frustrating it can be it can lead to impatience let's clarify mr knight of pentacles here page of swords okay hmm immature or blunt communication bringing in information or the truth prying into secrets secrets here Gathering information, a new way of seeing so this. Your hopes and fears are if you, it's like you're taking too long or somebody's taking too long to bring the truth, to address a situation. This is like an elephant in the room. Like the truth is smack bang in the center of the room and um, everybody's looking every which way but. I think it, it, it's the frustration that you can't quite find this compromise because the issue's not being fully addressed. And if you apologize for having things that have pulled you away from this connection, then as I said, this person may see that as validation that what you've done was wrong and you don't feel that what you have done is wrong. You want to apologize for hurting this person. You, that was, of course, never your intention. You don't want to hurt somebody, but also you believe that their reaction to your bad behavior is completely unwarranted because it's not bad behavior. This is something that's necessary for you and your dreams and your future seeds that are being sown your, your own life, your own wish fulfillment. This is your life and you have to live it the way that you see fit. I hope this is all making sense. Let's see what the um, potential outcome is. The potential outcome is moving to karma waters. Now that could be, this is, um, the six of swords mercury in aquarius this is moving away from drama this does not mean leaving somebody this could be leaving somebody but it could also be finding that common ground so you can move together towards something calmer 
um, and more peaceful. This is objective thinking. It can be an abrupt detachment, however. Let's clarify. Strength. This is your card. How beautiful. Um, and this is almost what I spoke about the whole way through, that kindness, that generosity, that strength of character, that inner calm, wanting to protect this connection here because you know it's a strong connection. You do love this person. You certainly deeply care for them. This is wanting to almost exert your power, but in a very gentle, kind, persuasive way, not a brute force kind of way, but let's, this is very much striving for a compromise here. Very much striving to find a compromise so you can move towards something calmer together, less dramatic. It's quite clear, actually. Leo, that's what I've got for you for March. Good luck with all of this. No extendeds this week, but extendeds will be back next week when we do the you and your person spread. I'm going back to my old faithful. It is my favourite one, that. Thank you so much for being here with me today, Leo. Take care and I'll see you next time.